Tiantec workers this morning voiced their displeasure after nearly 200 workers received disciplinary notices for staying home on September 7th. Branch President Peter Berg for the OWTU believes this is a vindictive act and is cautioning the Commission to do what is right. It is almost as though the Commission, in their own insecurity, has decided that they're going to ignore the collective agreement and started to persecute workers. Tiantec has been systematically suspending workers for taking a time off on the 7th of September. All the workers who have been so far suspended have had very legitimate reasons for staying home. In fact, one worker this morning, because there is no school, brought his children to work. And on Thursday, all unions met outside TSTT to battle what they term the government's model to bust unions and their solidarity. This was one of the main messages conveyed when the Communication Workers Union protested outside the communication company. They were joined by others such as the Amalgamated Workers Union and the Steel Workers Union to send a resounding no to a company move which they say will end in job losses. We seek to exercise our right to demonstrate our disgust about TSET's decision to send all of their fiber customers, residential customers that is, across the Amplia. Secretary General Clyde Elder says he believes the action is one meant to undermine the job security of TSTT workers. That decision has the effect of affecting the jobs of workers of TSTT and could potentially result in some massive retrenchment if it is allowed to happen. You see, the company's plan is not only for Amplia, but they intend to break up TSTT into small companies, making it very easy to sell it off. Mr. Elder says if they do nothing now, other industries and companies will be hassled, such as WASA and TNTech, creating massive unemployment in the land.